How often do guys actually want to just be friends if a woman is taken? It's a sticky situation and you never truly know. Using myself as an example I'm friends with as many women as I'm guys. I have no trouble because I can contain myself and if I really wanted them, I would have pursued them one of the times me and them were single at the same time. That being said, I don't know how well you know this guy. If it's just a workplace friend with no outside of work intention then I doubt he's interested. But I really don't have an answer for you because I don't know how the man acts. 110% right there, I'm the same as you. I have as many females friends as I have male friends. However, I have never disrespected any of these female friends in any way, much less insinuating intimacy between us, and I have never dated any of them before or after they broke up with their partners. But no everyone is like us. A lot of men can't even phantom the idea of respecting another man's girlfriend or staying away from couples personal issues. The vast majority of men actually are like planted cells just waiting for the right moment to step in and take the girl. I think you should trust your boyfriend. In general, men are better at reading men's underlying intentions than women are. I warned my wife about a guy, married with kids etc. Months later, he tried crossing the line. I told you so was in order. She was oblivious to his intentions all along. I spotted that mofo from a mile away. She was oblivious to his intentions all along. This blows my mind and sometimes I wonder if all the denial is spout when other men point it out is just them either consciously or subconsciously enjoying the attention. By this point in time the whole idea of the so-called nice guy is out in the ether and pretending like this isn't a reality is like someone back in the 90s pretending cigarettes don't cause cancer. If your boyfriend isn't jealous or insecure type and he tells you a guy is just biding his time to hit on you, believe him. Especially if the guy obviously does orbiter stuff, it'll take longer than a week to set in. But the signs aren't hard to see. Overly supportive. Excluding boyfriend when possible. Very subtly trash talking boyfriend. ETC etc. It's extremely frustrating to see it clear as day. Be able to take everything off and your girlfriend absolutely will not believe you. The larger problem is. We have no idea if the girlfriend is telling the truth that she really doesn't see it, or is she keeping him around as plan B, or some combo where she doesn't want to believe it so she doesn't, and having a backup is nice anyways. The idea of having any kind of backup while in a committed relationship just shows the sure signs of a sociopath. Inserting yourself as an option is not the right perspective IMHO, but like, my friends are pretty nice people, same goes with my female friends. And I want my potential future GF to be a pretty nice person too. In that perspective, I could consider dating most, if not all my female friend, if the occasion present itself. What I won't do though is faking, be friend with a girl in the hope she ever gets single and want to F me. I want my friends to be happy and most of the time it comes with stay in their current relationship. Also, that's taking cheating in the wrong angle. If you and your BF have a rough patch, you'd still be together right. That this guy's or isn't a background option to you in this rough patch changes absolutely nothing. Can you or can you not be trusted to not cheat on your boyfriend? You're the only person responsible to not cheat. If you don't want to cheat, this guy being there or not will change nothing. You won't cheat. If you want to cheat, this guy being there or not will change nothing. You will find someone to cheat. I agree with you. If I have a female friend, it's because they are a nice person that I get along with, not because I find them attractive. However if I spend time with them and they are a genuinely nice person, then that is what I look for in a GF. Personality and bond create attraction too. So like you, if one day we both ended up single then something could happen mutually. After all, they must like me as I'm a nice person too. So it's a two way thing. It's the friendship that keeps us together. In my opinion great friendships are what lead to relationships though. If both people are single and it's a mutual feeling. I'm certainly not ever waiting for a female friend to be single. If I was then I don't think I'd be able to handle a genuine friendship with them. However I'm not going to lie and say I'd never date a female friend in the future. Should things change. Call me insecure as hell if you want. But I have zero desire to have other guys being friends with my wife. 
Not all but a good number of, of men are hoping for a chance. Maybe I'm the minority in this thread, but one of my closest friends is an attractive married woman. I'm not at all interested in being anything more than friends with her. Even if she was single. Also, a few weeks ago I really hit it off with a girl at a party. She was super cool. I was flirting with her for like 3 hours before I found out she has a boyfriend. I was bummed about that, but I'm also not an asshole and I would never try to make something happen knowing she is in a relationship. But she was awesome and I like to keep cool people around, so I'm hoping we can be friends. If her husband is cool with it, more power to you. I've seen too many marriages wrecked by friends. This is one thing I don't understand. Why oh you really think the friends are the catalyst of the wrecked families? This isn't a guys who want my girl problem. That is the girl's problem. If y'all get into a rough moment, and instead of talking about it, or coping with it in a healthy way, your partner wants to cheat on you. She will do. Regardless of friends. She will always have someone who would want to f her. Always. It doesn't need to be friends. That's why as hard as it is. It's a game of trust. Your gf could be fing half a town and you would never know, because cheating without you noticing, unless she is stupid, is pretty easy. I'm not shitting you. I have seen guys cheat for 5 plus years, while their girls were clueless. I would never be friends with a woman, who was taken, unless I was also friends with her bf slash so, if I made him uncomfortable, I would step away. Men who do seek that friendship are almost always hoping for the right circumstances to move in. Edit for clarification. First, thanks to everyone who kept it civil here, even though they may have disagreed with me. BF can cover a wide spectrum of relationships. My meaning here is LTRs. Not casual dating. So so's and husbands. If the so is okay with his partner having you as a friend, my comment doesn't apply to you. I'm not saying women should not have male friends. It was suggested that to step away from the friendship is somehow condescending. It would be condescending if I told my friend that I know best that she should do this or this. It is not condescending to simply remove myself from their relationship until they figure things out. Finally, I didn't say I would ghost the friend. I would certainly let her know what my decision is and why. There are far too many comments now to reply much further. I think people understand my puff, and I'm satisfied with my opinion. Most of my friends are women who are in relationships. I have no interest in pursuing them romantically. The idea of it seems like it would be a depressing waste of time and energy to sit around waiting for the off chance that they break up. Same here. If I decided to just not be friends with my women friends who are in relationships, I would not have any friends that are women or mayo. Never been friends with a woman in a relationship, unless I was friends with her other half first, or she's a lesbian. Your boyfriend is likely correct. I work with dudes like the other dude here and honestly it's so gross to see from the outside. The woman is almost always completely oblivious to what's going on. It's insulting when they call us insecure. No. Open your eyes. Women who call men insecure for having healthy boundaries are just a shirt, and can't admit they lost an argument. Men can read men. Trust your BF. I feel like I have better friendships with women who aren't single than the ones who are. With single women I have to be far more aware of sending unintended signals one way or another, or even possibly feel bad if I miss that she's into me and didn't properly respond. With a woman whose isn't single, I just act like like they're any guy friend and it's obvious what things I shouldn't do with her because she's a woman and not a guy friend. Yes guys in relationships, all men that are your wife slash gf's friends, of any degree, backslash backslash underscore could backslash backslash underscore be options, if they end up breaking up with you, or if you die, that doesn't mean that's the intent on either part, even if it's the reality, but my general understanding from most women, IRL and online opinion sharing, is that such guy friends are only ever seen as such. If you know that, and believe there's a guy who's a risk of cheating with your partner backslash backslash underscore, while you're still together, with no specific suspicions, that's definitely an issue of trust with your partner. How is this not the top answer? Finally someone with a normal point of view. I'm the guy friend here, several girlfriends who are in relationships. Even if I find her attractive, 
and wouldn't say no. If she was single I respect her relationship and wouldn't try to sabotage it, it given the chance. I just don't like that kind of behavior. It's so douchebaggy. It's also very obvious, rarely to the girls though. Even if she comes to me with some relationship problem I try to take a fairly neutral stance and sometimes play the devil's advocate, unless there's a very clear right and wrong side. But this is me. I know guys who wouldn't hesitate to take the girl's side in an attempt to make her break up with her boyfriend. If you want to know what kind of friend this guy's make up a problem you have with your boyfriend that has a large grey area or is very innocent to test his counsel. If he seems way too eager to demonize your boyfriend you'll know his motivation. You won't be able to have a proper friendship with this guy if that's the case. Every worry or paranoid thought you might have about your boyfriend he will try and feed. He might even try and sow seeds of doubt himself. Whether that doubt is justified or not. Single guy slash third wheel, yeah. Never. It's a timeless story. A shoulder to cry on becomes a seat to ride on. Great line ha ha ha. Your BF is right. With any opposite gender relationship, there is always a chance. As guy, I've had multiple friendships with women. Where in the back of mind, I've thought about what if. Sometimes it's just thinking about sex. Sometimes it's about what it would be like to have her affection. And if I was her priority. What's crazy? Now I'm 48 slash am married. And I can see women looking at me as a what if. Unless we were already friends and or I'm friends with the other guy then I'm not interested at all. Been there done that. Completely not worth the trouble. Firstly. Most men just aren't cool with it. There are a few reasons. But generally it is. Because the average dude won't engage with a woman. Unless he desires sex from her. I don't care about outliers and anecdotes. You're exceptions and not the rule. Second. She doesn't have time for a new opposite sex friendship. Newer friendships tend to involve a lot of time spent together at the beginning. Maybe both parties are friendlier after a few beers one night than they should have been. Maybe you can find things you're too unsure of with your respective partners. Lines can start to get blurred. Drama ensues. Everyone is worse off. Lastly. I have no interest in ever having another insecure boyfriend conversation. Or worse some macho shad constantly trying to undermine me for existing near his woman. I have much better things to do and enjoy over all that. Jesus Christ you guys. It's okay to be friends with a woman you're attracted to. Even if she's in a relationship. Just don't f do anything about it. It's not complicated. The problem is half of the people in here simply can't comprehend a relationship that isn't based on sex. Or they think women aren't people that can make their own decisions. Or a relationship in general. We are on Reddit after all. All of the time. I get attracted by personalities not looks. Also I treat everyone like a friend. It could really be either way. He could just genuinely want to be friends. And your boyfriend is a bit paranoid because this is a scenario where what he described is common. Or it could really be what your boyfriend is worried about. Personally, I would have no qualms about being friends with a woman in a relationship. But if feelings started to show, I would either distance myself or cut off the relationship. I'm only friends with a woman if I do not find her attractive. If I find her attractive I would pursue if possible. That's just the way it is. I'd never be friends with a girl who has a BF. I think it's always a weird vibe. Work friends. Sure. But I'd leave it at that. A mutual friend of you both is okay. If he wants to spend time with you alone then that is a sign that he is interested in more. Also, your boyfriend's instincts may be right. It may be best to leave off with a new friend if that will cause problems with your current partner. Do a test together with your boyfriend. Start complaining to just friend about boyfriend. Say the relationship is no fit. That may be it will end soon. And see what happens. That day. I could be friends with a woman who is taken. I don't necessarily have to act on my attraction for a woman. Especially if she's taken. While I think your boyfriend is right. It is up to you to set boundaries. That friend will only become something more. If you allow it. And the only way he will ever interfere in your relationship is if both you and your boyfriend let it happen. He needs to keep his insecurities in check and trust you. And you need to set boundaries so he never has a reason to worry. 
I have been this guy you are talking about. I only ever intended to be a friend. Yes I found the Jiffle attractive, and might have shot a shot, if they broke up. But was never my intention to break them up. Unfortunately one of them, I'll never know who, decided I had bad intentions and they became cold to me rather suddenly. It sucked, and was insulting. But I took it in stride and just stayed professional. I understand that some people do this. It had been out of to think otherwise. But honestly the only person who can break you two up, is you two. See op. No intention to break them up, but if the opportunity arises they'll be straight in there. I know this is Askman, but as a woman, I feel you have to be wary. Always remind yourself, is this behavior my girlfriends would do as well? If no, boundaries are at risk. Also I would feel bad if my boyfriend would question the friendship and gave him doubts about it. So I rather keep male friends slightly at distance when in a relationship. It might be different when you're a bit older. I have many married female friends as our kids go to the same school or swimming club. We chat and drink together. Share our little sufferings. Learn and laugh a lot. It makes me feel extra content with my calm. Smart wife because many are not jobs. Wary. I have several women in my life who are taken. I don't want to f everything that walks. And even the ones I'm attracted to. I would never want to come in between anyone's relationship. If the relationship were to end. Then it's another question. But even then I would keep a respectable distance for months. If not years. Before I would maybe think of making a move. Let's be real. F boys aren't going to be outing themselves on this question. We wouldn't try to come between. But so many guys would. And I don't get why people aren't acknowledging this. Why wouldn't they? On an anonymous forum. I've been called F boy many times over. But everyone have different criteria for when it's okay. And on whom. You can make a move. I'm definitely in the camp. That adults can make their own decisions. If they are taken or not. Difference being in me pursuing. Which I wouldn't do. Or if they pursue me. Which is a whole other story. Because most of these men aren't going to be on reddit. This kinda person usually isn't. It's too nerdy for them. Usually this works for me. If one. I don't find her attractive too. I met them as a couple otherwise. Now. I have a lot of female friends I'm confident neither of us have romantic feelings. With that being said. I do know I'm the oddity. And not the norm. So I get it.